In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best graphics for your PS5 instantly by just using these settings. Since I've already covered the best PS5 settings for performance, I'm now going to show you exactly which settings I recommend for better graphics, improving resolution, and overall the best visual fidelity that you can get from the PS5. So make sure to leave a like rating, and without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Now the first step is actually very simple. You need to go to your PS5 settings, select Save Data and Game App Settings, choose Game Presets and you're going to want to change this specific setting from game default to resolution mode. What this is going to do is automatically prioritize image quality over higher frame rates within the basic settings of each and every game that you play. But the next thing that you absolutely need to do is go into your screen and video settings and make sure that your PS5's output is optimized for the best graphics. I recommend first setting resolution to automatic, set VRR to off, 120Hz output to automatic, auto low latency mode to off, 4K video transfer rate to automatic, set HDR to on when supported, deep color output to automatic, and RGB range to automatic. Now the biggest reason why I recommend disabling VRR and ALLM when optimizing your PS5 for the best graphics is because these settings will force your TV or monitor into game mode, which does sacrifice picture quality in the benefit of performance. And doing this gives you a lot more flexibility, especially when it comes to dialing in your own settings for your TV or monitor. Unfortunately, I can't go into specific TV or HDR settings since everyone's display is different, but there are plenty of helpful calibration settings online that are free to use with just a quick Google search. Now the last very important settings that you need to double check are actually within the PS5 games that you're playing. For example, in Ratchet & Clank you would want to make sure that the graphics mode is in fact set to fidelity, HDR is set to on, and 120Hz is set to automatic. Another example in Gran Turismo 7 would be to set the video output to prioritize ray tracing over frame rate. Now as I mentioned, all of this depends depends on the specific game that you're playing, but the point is to always double check and adjust these settings accordingly because the PS5's resolution preset doesn't always work for every single setting. So in order to get the best graphics from your PS5, I recommend setting your game default presets to resolution mode, make sure that VRR and ALLM are disabled, and always remember to double check your in-game settings for additional presets that your PS5 doesn't adjust automatically. Hopefully you found this video useful or at least interesting, and if you did, make sure to leave a like rating, subscribe, and ring the bell for post notifications.